Hi Scorpio, how are you doing? Welcome to your messages for the moment reading and this is a timeless reading for Scorpio Sun Moon Rising and it's for what Spirit wants you to know right now. Uh, messages from Spirit right now. So you'll know if it's the energy surrounding you uh, that we're picking up on in the first few cards. So if it doesn't resonate in the first few cards it's probably not your situation just yet and you can check the other your other signs or the timeless readings in the playlist. And um, for Scorpio, let's see what spirit want to talk to you about today. What's being activated for you? Okay. We've got realization. The frequency of realization supports the internal process of being aware of our heart centered truth, as well as the external process of becoming our highest ex expression in this world. Okay. Mm, we're making some very powerful headway. Scorpio. This realization could have come from could come from anywhere in your life, but it's like the penny drop, something's just clicked. Oh, okay. <laughs> We've got romantic love, belief and compassion. Romantic love. The frequency of romantic love supports our journey to feel whole and complete through the experience with and reflection of a conscious lover. Okay. We've also got belief. The frequency of belief supports our sense of self-worth based on our gifts and talents and a strong connection to source. Yeah. You've had, there's been like a, Something's come in and completely, completely gone through you. For you, Scorpio, it feels like romantic love. It's going to be in your, it's going to be in love life, in romance area. We've got compassion. The frequency of compassion supports our ability to stand by others without judgment and be the divine mediator between heaven and earth, spirit and matter so that unconditional love can flow from source through our heart and into the world. Yeah, there's a lot of heart energy going on here, Scorpio. A lot of heart energy, a lot of depth, a lot of heart energy, but you're being activated in a realization to do with your romantic life. There is this, the compassionate energy, because this is a lot that's come through uh, for you. In the other readings I've done so far, uh, with this particular, um, with this particular spread, it's been, a couple of cards that have come out so <laughs> there is this just tells me there's a lot happening for you a lot being activated it's like somebody's taking the lid off the pressure cooker but in a really good way it's like the feeling that i'm getting is like levitating energy but being so grounded at the same time and there's a there's a a power that has come into your romantic love and there's a there's a compassion here that is Break, the, the compassion has broken through some conditioning or some some situation in your life to do with rom in your romantic relationships. This could be somebody that you're with right now, or it could be an energy that's still with you from a past romantic relationship or situation. Okay, yeah, we we're changing. Something's changing. Spirit guardian of autumn letting go. This could be letting go of of energy from the past. It could be letting go of a, a situation now, but this feels very much like letting go of the energy that didn't have the depths of romantic love that you knew were possible. We just had a very similar uh, sim kind of similar reading for Libra. If you've got Libra in your chart, or if you're in connection with a Libra with this energy, that might resonate as well. But um, the the belief is the grounding it grounding the energy and the compassion is what's broken something and we've got toadstool's growth yeah yeah we're moving on from a situation that wasn't as fulfilling very similar to libra but this this realization has has come in like lightning. It's been very quick, or it will happen very quick, because this is what's being activated right now on an energetic level. We've got solar plexus chakra confidence. No one will believe in you if you don't believe in yourself. 
be your own cheerleader. Okay. For some of you, this could be a situation that other people don't understand with this compassion as well. So it could be a situation friends and family don't really understand or people don't really get the click or something where you just know. You know it's right for you and there's been a realisation that's happened within that and it's kind of letting go of the conditioning or a belief that maybe you couldn't be together or you couldn't make it work or it couldn't go as far and it's like letting go of those things and growing growing from a place of knowing and real real two-way deep connection here because this energy is is what's around you we've got oneness oh wow with this card it's beautiful crown chakra oneness you are part of the universe and always will be we've got a lot of source energy coming up for you here scorpio a lot of divine source energy wow that's amazing this realization i want to say it's coming from spirit something's happened that has been divine intervention somehow let's see what energy is around this this is incredibly quick energy it's coming in very quick it's almost like you can't take a breath it's happening so quickly for some of you that could be in the physical for some of you this is going to be energetic based show the world the real you yeah if there's been any doubt that this relationship connection can't work or won't work or your idea of love won't work or is unreachable spirit telling you to believe Yeah, there's growth from the situation. We're leaving behind the old and we're transforming it into something m much, on, on a much deeper level, on a much higher spiritual vibrational level. What other energy is around this? And this Aquarius energy is all about doing things differently as well. And really going with your heart and not hiding who you are because there could have been a repression here of some kind of energy, a repression of energy somehow around romantic love. I do feel there is like, I'm just hearing pressure cooker and I'm seeing like pressure cooker just going. Whoosh. So this, if that, if that kind of feeling resonates for you, this is, this is what's being activated for you Scorpio at the moment. What else? The Scorpio please. For some of you, this is a wish come true as well. You're having a wish come true, like you've wanted something, desired something, and this is like a wish wish being granted. Because you've, you've had this realization, you've kind of been on the path of understanding, and now you understand nothing is set in stone. You don't have to do what other people tell you you should do, or that other people do, or that society necessarily does, culture does any of those things that are conditioned. Nothing is set in stone. This really is like you making your own story. You are making your own love story here. And it's so freeing. There is such a freedom in this, such an openness. And it's coming from beautiful, beautiful heart space energy. It's like you're going to be unshakable after this, Scorpio. Like, it's going to give you power, being in a connection or having this energy around you, even if it's not in the physical, kind of embracing this energy. Okay. Let's see. Time to give rather than take. This is the compassion energy. This feels, for, this isn't going to resonate. I feel like this is only for, for some of you, but this feels like where somebody might be opening up to you in a romantic situation, 
somebody's opening up to you about something that feels a bit um, difficult for them to express and to share, but you you holding the compassion opens up this relationship into to something that is really, truly unconditional love with this with the romantic energy woven into it and we've got bring love into the situation new moon aquarius a lot of aquarius energy this is either going to be with an aquarius or somebody with them um, with some strong influence of aquarius at the moment or in their chart um or this is going to be the energy of the greater good doing things differently being being 100 percent authentic and spontaneous and being able to communicate that together because this is two-way energy being able to really communicate that together okay let's see what else is coming up for you What's, what does spirit want you to know about this new level this new love story that you're writing for yourself yeah change in the wind <laughs> yeah change in the wind something's changing it, you can't go back you can't go back now there's been there's been a change this feels very divine intervention i have to say this feels very divine intervention on an energetic level spiritual level physical level situation level something's happened to just completely change and it this feels it, it might not have been really sudden it could have been quite gentle regeneration even when something looks like it's not going to grow life does something to help it out and it it starts to grow and it starts to sprout leaves and it starts to become something different something beautiful so for those of you where this is this is a separation there is growth from that we've got we've got this growth twice as well because this is very much about growing second chances this could be somebody from the past this could be second chance in an existing relationship this could be second chance at romance doing it right this time oops sorry let's just get one more here for you yeah for some of you you might have come out of a very uh a relationship that was quite restrictive in expression yeah we've got orphaned some of you might have come out or in the past had a relationship and the energy is still with you whether where it was quite judgmental um perhaps a little bit uh edging on like gaslighting narcissistic type of energy and it's like it's taken a while for all of that to completely leave your system and to go and you it's just gone bam oh my god no that's not how a romantic love is supposed to be that's not how you're supposed to treat people there's there's something else um and this could have been triggered by anything but it feels like for some of you this could have been in a dream or in a, a, some kind of spiritual state meditative meditative state if i can talk <laughs> um and for others of you this this might have been just the the example of other people around you yeah we've got orphaned so for some of you this might be a separation or a complete detachment of what was past or or in the recent present we've got round and round this spirit don't want you to make the same mistake in a romantic partnership they want you to move forward with you being authentic you don't have to follow other people's rules you don't have to do what other people expect you to do there's a situation with with someone or with a with a relationship where you really have an opportunity to write your love story with them and there's growth for both of you in this when you both let go of your pasts and you both let go of your uh surroundings i want to say and the noise the white noise that happens in in life and society sometimes but there's there's a connection here a real deep divine connection here that enables you to grow together like alongside each other and you do feel you do feel like the same person 
it's very soulmate energy here because we've got this oneness but it's it's you holding this frequency of compassion that enables the situation to to blossom and to regrow and to regenerate but it's like that compassion underlines everything it's got to be held mother of the salt waters passion wild love open your heart let love in wow very scorpio card yeah yeah there is a whole new love story this feels very exciting and for those of you who resonate with coming out of a relationship that wasn't um I want to say like wasn't kind or wasn't was very judgmental or there was something something in it which was very I want to say 100% ego based and you've you're free of that the belief in love is hold on to that belief because it's coming for you you've already got this energy this is what's being activated you've already got this energy now coming into you We've got Lady of the Lake, new beginnings, something is about to happen. It is very close. I mean, I say that spirit time and human time is quite different sometimes, right? But there is new beginnings. Yeah, new passionate beginnings. Making waves, momentum is building, it's your time, achievement. Yes, timing was very important here. Okay. But the momentum is building because you are holding these frequencies. You're holding this energy. I want to say you're holding this energy beautifully. The rainbow, sweet relief, new beginnings, a new way forward. Yeah. Whatever has been happening before this energy, whatever has happened and then it's triggered this realisation of, of romantic love, it's actually it's put you onto a path where you can have something that is incredible on a romantic level absolutely incredible okay let's see the energy that's around you at the moment for you to tap into to integrate all of this energy so there's a lot happening there's a lot happening what can you tap into at the moment from spirit the sacrifice this is this is giving thanks this is like this is doing nothing on a physical level not necessarily doing something on a physical level unless that feels right to you but it's giving that it's giving that thanks to the spirit world with this card as well with this energy i always it always makes me feel like sacrifice the bad things and um, the number 44 might be relevant as well for some of you we've got 44 and 44 here as well i've just seen that okay and the rainbow coming out is just divine we've got the drum beat uh move to the beat of your own drum this is also calling in spirit to help you for some of you it will be calling in spirit this is journeying as well so calling in spirit to when you're in a meditative state or when you're journeying if that if that's something that you do you enjoy doing and that, that feels good for you it's 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 beating on the drum beating on going to the beat of your own drum you as a person and you as a couple whenever this this comes into fruition for you if it's not there already it's it's that but it's also the announcement that you have arrived it's like show the world the real you this is like now i'm here this is me this is what i sound like this is what i look like this is this is who i am it's like telling the world i'm here but it's also saying to spirit you're ready saying to spirit you're ready for their guidance you're ready for their support their help i mean they're with you all the time anyway it's just deepening the connection with them through the conscious the conscious invitation what else for scorpio the hunter <laughs> this you know with this energy that's coming out this feels very playful i have to say this feels playful. This is knowing 
exactly how to get what you want. Not taking more than you need. Taking everything that's perfectly right. This is for you and for others because the hunter feeds the tribe, right? The vision quest. This is where you've been. You've you've had this is the realization. This like aha moment. This oh god, yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah, this is going within, being in total darkness and emerging as your true self. So not going round and round, not doing this, going round and round. I feel like some of this vision quest could have been for some of you going round and round because something just wasn't clicking. It's like just not seeing something, not understanding something, like that kind of deep spiritual initiation, which could have led you to really understanding, tapping into and learning your own intuition. Yeah. Spirit want you to, to connect with them. We've got the ancient ones. They want you to lean into your to the your con the conscious practice, your spiritual practice, your well being practice, and ask them for help with this vision question with the ancient ones as well. They want to help you. They want to really help you stabilize this energy that's coming in because they want you to live this and experience this. And we've got the eagle new beginnings. Okay, this feels like this. The predominant energy from here is, is new beginnings for you. Let me rearrange these. I want you to be able to see them all. This is such a beautiful reading. I don't want you to miss any of the energy. <laughs> there we go. Let's get some tarot now and see a little bit more about this situation. For anybody that still feels in this detached mode, hold on to this frequency of belief because everything else will follow. It's all coming in for you. Do you know, it's like if you do feel like you're in this orphaned energy, tune into the, to the, tune into that whisper that tells you the wind's going to change because you'll feel it. If you haven't, if you haven't felt it already, it's like, it's like you can feel it. It's there for you to feel it. And that's like mastery of intuitive self as well. When you can feel what's happening, the connection to that life force energy. Okay, what's the situation here that's happening? What's the situation been for Scorpio, please, Spirit? The world, we completed the old cycle. Yes, I love this card for you. We've completed the old cycle and we, we are entering a whole new world. A whole new world. Okay, what's been this situation? Yeah, you've been working hard at this. It has been, you, we've got the Eight of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. You've been working very hard at this. For a lot of you, you would have been on a spiritual pathway for some time to try and shift this energy um, to find different things that work for you. But you are, you really have been getting somewhere. Okay, you've really been getting somewhere to shift this energy. And this Four of Pentacles energy feels like it's been external factors that have been really hard to break. For, for a lot of you, yes. New beginning. I love this. Ace of Swords. New beginning. New love story. Because this is also like the, this is new idea and the, the communication of something new, the writing of something. It really does feel like write your own love story exactly how you want it to be. Oh my God, this is amazing. Okay, let's see what's been coming towards you. It's been coming towards you. Page of Swords. Yeah, we've had some, this new love story, you might have some hiccups in terms of communication and expression, but you are learning. Okay, you are, there is a, a togetherness in this learning. Okay, what's well, coming? Six of Wands. <laughs> we have victory. We have victory. This is a beautiful reading, Scorpio. 
beautiful reading. Okay, let's get some advice from Spirit for you. They want you to take away from this energy. Some advice, Scorpio, please, Spirit. Elephant greatness. Love is your strength. Leadership is your path. Your wisdom inspires everyone you meet. You can overcome any problem. You will naturally and easily achieve success. This is you taking the lead in holding that compassion frequency and allowing everything out, everything to be, giving space to all of this energy. The belief, the realisation, the romantic love, the compassion, and then everything, everything falls out of that. Your love story falls out of that. Love is your strength. Amazing. I hope that's helped you, Scorpio, with where you are on your journey right now. Thank you for joining me for your reading, and I hope to see you soon. Take care.